This is a problem from section 6-5, a uh, problem similar to your homework. It says that we assume that a women's height, uh, women's heights are normally distributed with a mean of 62.6 and a standard deviation of 1.8. Uh, first question, if one woman is randomly selected, find the probability that her height is less than 63 inches. So for these things, we want to draw our graph. So I'm going to do a little graph on the side here. We have a normal distribution. We have the mean is 62.6. And we want to know a probability where their height is less than 63. So 63 is a little bit bigger here, a little bit on the right side. And then we want the area on the left side. We should expect our answer to be bigger than one half. Uh, exactly 62.6 is one half if that's where we break it off. And so we are covering up area that's a little bit more than half of that. So now that we have our drawing, let's set up our probability notation for this. We're going to use a P notation and we're looking at X less than 63. The other part that I'd like to see is that I'd like to see the calculator command. Now, you're more than welcome to use a table if you want to, but again, I'm highly encouraging the use of a calculator for this because one, it'll be a lot easier, and two, it'll be a lot more precise. So our calculator command is using normal CDF. And then if you remember, the normal CDF takes in uh, four arguments, the low, the high, the mean, and standard deviation. So the low goes all the way up to negative infinity. So we'll call that a negative 1e e to the 99. The high ends up at 63. The mean is 62.6. And then standard deviation is 1.8. So that's what we want to type in our calculator. Let's punch in our calculator. We're going to say second function and distributions. We're going to select number two. That's a normal CDF. We have a minus sign that gives the opposite. One. And then second function in the comma gives us the E notation for scientific notation. That's 10 to the 99th power, which is going to be a really huge negative number. So that's, in terms of calculator language, it might as well be negative infinity. Our maximum, or our upper limit, is 63. Our mean is 62.6. And our standard deviation is 1.8. OK, we'll run this. And we get a. 5879, let's call it. So this is our probability. Uh, if we select one woman, the probability that her height is less than 63 inches. All right, now let's take a look at selecting 35 women. So our setup is almost going to be the same, except there's one minor change. Well, maybe a couple if we look at it from different points of views. The first change is this x. We're not just looking for a random variable x. We're looking for the mean height. So we want the mean height to be less than 63. This is for samples of uh, 35 women. So our first change here is going to be the notation. We'll change the notation. So we're going to put x bar. So I know it's tough to see, but there's a bar up there now. So this is x bar less than 63. Now the other change will be our standard deviation. According to the central limit theorem, our mean is going to be the same, but our standard deviation will change. So what we need to do to our standard deviation is that we actually need to divide it by the square root of the sample size that you're getting. So that's the square root of 35. So we're dividing this by the square root of 35, and so our answer is probably going to be different. So let's see how that's going to change. 
Back to our calculators. We have our last command. It's going to be almost exactly the same, except we're going to take the square root of 35 and divide, or we're going to take 1.8 and divide it by the square root of 35. So I'm going to recall that, second function, and enter. And then I'm just going to write error one time. And I want to fill in this gap with a divide by, and then the square root button, and then 35. Put in a couple of parentheses, one to end the square root, and one to end the normal CDF. And I'll press Enter. And we see that this is now 0 0.9056 or 0 0.9057. So that's a pretty big difference here. This is 90% uh, now. So if we're looking at sample sizes of 35 women, and then you take the mean of their heights, 90% of the time, or 91% of the time, uh, their mean height is going to be less than 63. OK? So these two. Um, these two problems are put next to each other so that you can see the difference and then the power of uh, the central limit theorem. Okay, So the basic difference is that if you're looking for one woman and finding the probability that that particular woman's height is less than 63, you're using the regular normal CDF. But if you have a sample, a sample, a fixed sample size n, and you're looking for the probability that not just their height, but their mean height, the mean of that particular sample, then you're looking at the central limit theorem. And the notation for that uses the mean for the sample, x bar. And then the standard deviation is now changed from the regular standard deviation to that standard deviation divided by the square root of n. All right. So that helps. Good luck.